Welcome back to What Art You Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the FB304. It's the Tier 6 British SPG. And this one's located on the South Spawn, or is it South Spawn? No, it's the, it's the West Spawn of Airfield. And it's under the command of the Salty Jedi. Yes, the head of the Salty Jedi Alliance. Um, he's got two marks on his Burt. And I found this replay sitting on his replay website. And as you know, we use that website because it's very handy for replays. So uh, we're going to see how the uh, Salty Jedi gets on with his Burt. Now, you know the... Uh, the Burt was actually named by uh, Burt the Avenger. And I think it got Burt the Avenger, the name Burt the Avenger, from Sircon of all people, I believe. Uh, I think he, there was a particular player who sent in replays to Sircon, uh, or to Jingles. And uh, one of the two named him Burt uh, the Avenger, or named the FB304 the Burt. And there's the Wizzy132. Now, Salty Jedi really was an artillery man in real life. He, uh, in his former career, while he was in the British Army, he was in the Royal Artillery. So he knows all about Arty, and he does play it. And he plays it rather well. Now, he's aiming for that Carnarvon Action 10. Working out where it's going to go, and round out. It's going to miss. No. Yep, unfortunately, that Action 10 moved rather quickly to one side. Now, there was a tank. Yes, there is. A Type 64. And he's over there spotting at the moment. Round out. Close. But no cigar. Now, the thing about the bird is it's got a relatively short range. So you have to get close to the enemy, just as you do, would in the Bishop. But it's also quite a fast little arty. Oh, he guessed that he was in that... Ro in that a bush but he wasn't there he'd gone up to the other bush but he is spotting and I'm sure he's going to be around that region and fires around in no no joy he's got 57 rounds of ammo you've got plenty of ammo in the vert okay very fast loading going after the, the action 10 again or is no going for the T-3485 all close unfortunately the uh the Burt doesn't have a very big splash radius. It's got a 114.3 millimeter gun, the 4.5 inch. Could do 450 alpha damage on a penetration of 28 millimeters. And he did get a hit on the Carnarvon for 123. Oh! That bounced off the armor! Didn't do any damage there, but will he get some damage? Yep. Yes! 197 and he got a critical hit as well. Almost reloaded. So it can dial in as fast as it can reload. And he kills the Carnarvon Action 10. So that's his first kill of the game. Looking around for another target. Now it's a T-34-85 and a 45 TP just around that corner. And since the IS-6, oh, they've been hit by the enemy RT. The enemy's got a GW Panther and an M12, as well as an AMX 13 F3. And there's that nasty... Oh, it's the Wizzy 132, not the Type 64 anymore. Dialing in, oh, and he pulls back just as we fire. And he's now been... Oh, they killed the Type 64. It was a blind shot kill. In fact, actually, the enemy killed his own Type 64. Or did he? Yes, he did. And the Wizzy has just been killed. It did appear that, yes, he team killed. Now, we're going for the 45 TP. Okay, dialing in. Round out. Should hit. Yes, it does. And he picks up a critical hit as well. Going for the OI. Big juicy hitbox full of points to extract. Round out. Direct hit. 144. And he's killed, so he picks up some extra. Right, T-3485, round out. And a hit! A big hit! 419. 
It's still a low roll as, as regards to the damage that the uh, 4.5 inch can do, but this is a kill shot. It is, yes, 146. I could tell that straight away. I knew that shell was going to hit the target. T28 prototype, almost loaded and round out. Another hit. Oh, he got a fire. He's on fire and he's gone. So that's an arsonist and there's only four enemy left. So now the Burt comes into his own as a TD. He's fast. He in fact is the fastest RT in the game. A bit of a pig to maneuver though because it's got a very slow uh, traverse. But it is a fast RT. Now he can race and get to the enemy RT and do some damage to them, kill them. There's only RT left, the GW Panther, the M12 and the AMX-13 F3. Now the one to worry about is really the AMX-13 F3 because he's almost as fast as the Burt. And there's the GW Panther. Okay, locked on. Let's locate another target. Gone to aim and... Yes, got a hit. 202. It seems he's still in reload, that GW. He's manoeuvring rather than trying to shoot. Almost reloaded. And there. Yes, kill shot. 158 hit points. He gets another kill. Four kills. So that's a fighter badge. And he's loaded. Okay, we can see the M12 is in the south. Now he's going to try an arty shot on him. Is he up on top of the hill? I think he was in that bushes at the back. There he is. Oh, he's not in the bushes anymore. But this is a, should kill him. And it does! Enemy vehicle destroyed. Only 41 hit points, but it wins the game. And that's five kills. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tanker for Salty Jedi in the FB-304, the Burt. He also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five. An arsonist for setting fire to the T-28 prototype and burning him up. And a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get 11 in total in that battle. And a win eight of 5725 Super Unicom sta sta standard. And remember, Salty Jedi is a community contributor. He actually does help out a lot by providing guides to how to complete all the missions. He's that good a player. So uh, if you do get a chance, look at Salty's guides and see exactly how you can actually complete the missions. Because he's already been through it and done it for you and provided you with the guides to show you how it can be done. So let's have a look at the team score. Well, there he is. He didn't get the highest damage. He got 1,764, which is the highest on his team. But it was the M12 on the enemy team who managed to get the highest amount of damage. He got 1,916 hit points of damage. So just a couple of hundred more than uh, Salty. But uh, uh, the next highest score on Salty's team was the S51 with 1,621. Then the Wizzy 132 with 1,490. When it came to kills, though, it was definitely the Salty Jedi who managed to come out on tops. He got five, the Wizzy 132 got three, the S51 got two, and so did the T21. Highest score on the enemy team, the AMX 13 F3, he managed to get two kills. And when it came to base XP, it wasn't Salty, it was at top, funnily enough. The Wizzy 132 managed to get 949 XP and then Salty came in with 899, just a short distance behind, and then the 40 TP with 811. Salty fired 23 rounds during that battle. He got 12 direct hits, 11 penetrations. I think he may have spent a lot of rounds trying to get that Type 64. It was a really, really difficult customer to pin down. But once he got into his stride and he was hitting those tanks in the heavy alley, he made it very, very easy indeed by uh, getting consistent hits on the enemy and wiping them out. Uh, he did splash damage on two tanks, damage of 1,764 hit points, of which 1,404 were at more than 300 meters. He spotted one enemy vehicle, that's the GW Panther. He damaged seven of the enemy, killed five of them. And on a premium account, he earned 33,186 credits. And after resupply of ammunition and consumables, he did use premium consumables in the form of food. Uh, he actually took away 2,436 credits. But you can see how much that premium consumable really did aid 
uh, in his uh, game because it really did make his uh, um, RT perform extremely well. He earned 1,348 XP times 2 for the first victory, took away 2,697. So, as Salty says, it's a cheeky little Bert Ace. Well, yes, I thought so when I saw it, and I thought, wow, that's really good. So, uh, I'd like to put that one in and at least have one of uh, Salty's uh, replays on our website. So, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.